Hello everyone, welcome to Pages in the Gardens. Today I'll be sharing with you a little bit about Christmas Pages style. We're going to be going into the kitchen and I'm going to be showing you how we prepare a few dishes just for Christmas using traditional ingredients but in different ways. We want to kind of spice the Christmas up for you this year and do it a little differently for you. Ham is a very, very critical part of our Christmas meal. Um, in Jamaica, we tend to dress our hams with pineapples and cherries. And then we also put on a glaze. Often it's a honey glaze that's used. But of course, there are other ways to glaze it. And today we're going to be glazing it with something that I'm quite surprised that we haven't glazed it with a lot more. Um, I'm glazing it with a sorrel glaze. So we're going to be using a sorrel glaze because sorrel is also a big part of our Christmas celebration. We're pouring in the sorrel and we have it boiling up here. Adding some stock. You don't need to add a lot of stock. Just to give it a little bit of the flavoring. Depending on how much sugar you like, add the sugar. You caramelize it, which means you bring it to a boil. And once you have a fairly syrupy mixture here, you're just about ready to let it cool. And then you can apply it as a glaze, glaze to the half. When it's cool, you'll have something that looks like this. Nice and thick. I'm going to add the glaze to the ham. Make sure your hands are clean. You're going to need to massage the glaze on the ham. If you want the glaze to be really hardened on <clears throat> the ham, after you put the glaze on, you can then go ahead and put it in the oven for a few minutes. So one of our specialties here is a dish that everybody loves. It's a fish dish and it's butterfish fillet stuffed with plantain and callaloo. So here we have the butterfish. We're stuffing it now with the plantain and the callaloo. Callaloo of the plantain, of course, is cooked before. Simply cook the callaloo the way you would and you don't need to put a lot of seasoning in it. Um, fry the plantain. And you can use any stuffing that you use, but we are choosing this one because it's healthy and everybody loves these two things. Okay, so once you've stuffed it, you basically dip it in a batter, a wet batter. You can make the batter any way you choose, but this is a flour based wet batter. Then after that, we basically cover this with some cassava flour and cornmeal and we're ready now to fry so let's check the temperature of the oil make sure it's ready and sure is ready so we're gonna just drop this in and we're watching it fry you don't have to fry it for long because a lot of people aren't really doing too much of the fry food thing you can fry it for about a minute or two take it out and you can place it off in in the oven at this point you can remove the toothpick and put it in the oven how long should you be? Maybe 15 minutes if the oven is hot. 10, 15 minutes. You've already cooked it maybe about 25% of the way. So in another 15 minutes, it should be ready. Once it's baked, it's ready for the rundown sauce. For the candied sweet potato, you need to basically have some sweet potatoes prepared from before. Peel, slice, and cut. Kind of scallop form. You can do it in, in cubes if you prefer. And you need to have some coconut milk, whether you're going to grate up or use a powdered one. Some sugar, lots of sugar, because this is this dish is called coconut candied sweet potato. So we're gonna start with a little water. 
Add a little bit of vinegar to it, not much. Adding the coconut milk to it. Have to mix it really fast. You can start it. A little egg powder coloring to it. Not a lot, just to give it that sweet potato color. Add the sweet potatoes to it now. Turn up the fire a little bit. Work them in together. To get the coconut flavor in there, we add a little more coconut. And then we want to add our spices, our nutmeg, cinnamon, and vanilla. So your vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, mixed spice for baking. If you don't have mixed spice and you have some all spice or fermented powder, put that in. And there you go. So another important element of the Christmas meal is the stuffing for the chicken. And today we're going to be doing a cornbread and raisin stuffing. And we're going to be utilizing the stock from the chicken that we probably would have roasted already. So you can make a cornbread any way you like it using any of the mixtures or from scratch. You can get some slices of bread together and have some seasoning to put into that. Because this, this stuffing is a nicely seasoned up stuffing. You have your scallion diced and onions diced. You can have a little sweet pepper, hint of ginger if you want, some garlic and some scotch bonnet pepper if you wish. Okay? So to start us off, we're going to cut up the bread. Cutting them in cubes. Some people like to toast these beforehand or after you've cut them, you can do that to give you a nice crispy texture to your stuffing. You don't have to if you don't wish. Next, we're going to prepare the cornbread, which means we're going to also cut that. In. So we've got our pretty large cornbread here. You may have some charring on the edge. Don't worry about that. That's fine. Add a little more depth to your flavor. Cut this up. a fairly easy dish to prepare because many of the ingredients are prepared ahead of time. I like to add some olive oil and a few herbs, Italian herbs, basil, oregano if you like, a little bit of rosemary, some garlic. Um, and, and the process involves sauteing the seasoning first using some of those herbs along with it, with the olive oil. Getting those ready, and then you add next your stuffing mixture, and then you add your stock, you toss, and then you put it out. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and add some herbs to it. Not a lot, because the chicken is already very seasoned. So we're gonna add some parsley, some vinegar. And if you want, you can add some wine to this, just to give it a little kick. It was our pleasure to spend this time with you. We were so happy to share with you a few ideas as to how you could spice up your meals this holiday season. Have a wonderful Christmas and we look forward to seeing you in 2021.